Arkansas rapper Bankroll Freddy likely won't be back in Arkansas for a while after he was sentenced in federal court. So Bankroll Freddy, whose actual name is Freddy Gladney III, was indicted by a federal jury in May of 2023 on multiple drug and weapon charges. There was ultimately a 32-count indictment on Freddie Gladney III. Now, Freddie Gladney III was arrested as part of uh, something that the federal investigators were looking into about two different gangs in Arkansas, one of them being the Everybody Killers. Now, as part of that Everybody Killers EBK investigation, there were 35 people that were indicted Freddie Gladney III was just one of those people. Now, Freddie did not take a plea deal. He had a jury trial in early 2024 where he was convicted by a jury. In April, the jury found him guilty of one count of conspiracy to distribute and possess with intent to distribute marijuana, one count of possession with intent to distribute marijuana, one count of possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime, and one count of using a telephone in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. He was sentenced to 150 months in federal prison. Now, in my opinion, isn't it so weird that you can be convicted of a crime like trafficking marijuana when marijuana is legal in so many states, but it's still not legal federally, and even in Arkansas, though it's legal uh, if you have a medical marijuana card, they still arrest people for marijuana. Now, in my opinion, that's just because the, you know, government wants their share. They want their piece, right? Just my opinion. And it's off topic on this. So like I said, Freddie Gladney, who is from Helena, was sentenced last week to 150 months in federal prison federal prison sentences differently, or you have to serve more of your sentence. You got to serve 85%. Because of that, Freddie Gladney will have to serve a little over 10 and a half years in prison before he is eligible for release. When he is released, he will have to be supervised for three years, and he has been ordered to pay $242,000 as part of his judgment. Mr. Gladdy might have got a lighter sentence, but he was caught on wiretap instructing another gang member to get uh, drug paraphernalia, drug cells, you know, like scales and stuff out of a house before it was searched, which why didn't you see a wiretap coming? Anyway, uh, that was part of the reason why he got a stiffer sentence on this particular case. 